This is the last lesson for chapter 11. We're going to be using estimation. And of course, this is three digits because that's what the chapter is about. This is lesson 11.14. We learned in video 5.3 that we can estimate sums. If we need to add 19 plus 23, we can estimate the sum because 19 is close to 20 and 23 is also close to a 20, isn't it? We can add 20 plus 20 and get 40. It's not the exact answer. It's an estimate. It's close to the exact answer. Okay. We learned in video 6.8 that we can estimate differences. We have 38 minus 19. 38 is close to 40. And remember, 19 is close to 20. So we can estimate the difference by subtracting 40 minus 20, which would be 20. And it's not the exact answer. It's an estimate of the answer. Okay? It's an estimate of the difference. Now, in video 9.11, we learned rounding to the nearest 10 or nearest 100 by using a number line. If we have a number that is very, very close over here, like 405 is very close to 400, it's not that close to 500. 405 is very, very close to 400. We can round it and just say 400 and estimate an answer, okay? There's going to be links to all three of those videos in this description. So you can just click on the little triangle and you'll be able to scroll down and see the link that will take you to either one of these videos in case you need a review, okay? So we can write the nearest hundred and then estimate each summer difference. 402, is that closer to 400 or 500? Well, that's very close to 400, isn't it? 198, is that closer to 100 or 200? That 90 pushes it very, very close to the 200, doesn't it? So this would be very close to 200. It's just two away from 200, 198, 199, 200. It's very close to 200. So 402 plus 198 is about, if we added these, it would be about 600, wouldn't it? All right, let's try this again. We have 287, is that closer to 200 or 300? Well, 87 is pretty big, isn't it? So this would be closer to 300. How about 93? Which 100 do you think that's close to? Well, if you said 100, you're right. It's pretty close to 100. So if we needed to estimate the sum, 287 plus 93 is about, if we add these together, it's about 400, isn't it? And it's not the exact answer. It's an estimate to the nearest 100, all right? Let's try some, some subtraction. We have 891. Is this closer to 800 or 900? Well, that 91 is pushing it closer to 900, isn't it? And we could use a number line if we need to. If you need to do that, that's okay. Is 507 closer to 500 or 600? Well, that's not very many more than 500, is it? That's 7. So it's closer to 500. So 891 minus 507 is about how much? So remember, this is subtraction. So if we have 9 minus 5, well, that would be a 4, wouldn't it? And then we put our two zeros. We learned how to do that, right? Subtracting hundreds is the same thing as subtracting ones. It just has a couple zeros at the end, doesn't it? All right, let's try this one. We have 712. Now, is that closer to 700 or 800? Well, 12 isn't that many when we're talking about hundreds, right? So this is closer to 700. 
486. Is that closer to 400 or 500? Well, this 86 is pretty big. That's almost another 100, isn't it? So this is closer to 500. So 712 minus, remember the subtraction, minus 486 is about how much? We subtract these. 7 minus 5 is a 2. We put our two zeros in the tens and ones place. And our estimate is 200. Okay? Let's try some problem solving. Tim grew 314 pumpkins in his pumpkin patch. Lisa grew 296 pumpkins. About how many did they grow all together? So we think we can estimate to the nearest hundred. So Tim's is 314. Lisa's is 296. Those are our important numbers. It says about how many did they grow all together. That's our clue word that tells us to add, doesn't it? All together. 314 is close to 300. 296 is also about 300. So 314 plus 296 is about 600. So the answer is about how many did they grow all together? About 600 pumpkins. Because we need to label our answers, don't we? Okay? So that's our answer. So if you need to use a number line, that's fine. Until you get really good at this. Just see which number in the hundreds, which hundreds is the number closest to, okay? Make yourself a number line, and maybe you can put the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 in between each one. And you could turn your paper sideways so you have more room to do this, and then see which hundred your number is closest to, all right? And whichever one it is, that's what you estimate it to be in the hundreds, and then you can add or subtract them, okay? We're going to move on to the next chapter, chapter 12. It's the last chapter. And we're going to be exploring multiplication and division. And we're not going to get too deep into it, but we're going to explore it. And I'm going to introduce it to you because you're really going to work with this in third grade, okay? Which is coming up very soon because we're in our last chapter starting in a few minutes, okay? Okay, I hope I'll see you there, and let's talk some multiplication and division. Bye.